People usually talk about independence or debate on the same. In fact, I've seen some of them questioning independence on and around Independence Day of India. Well, I'm neither questioning independence nor defending it. I'm here to take you around through a roller coaster ride. Well, it is not a joy ride. What is independence? To me, the way my parents brought me up is independence. The way they lay their trust on me is independence. Inculcating the values of self-esteem and self-sufficiency in me is independence. Pursuing an impossible sounding dream ignoring the resistance of people is independence. There is a perception in our society that an independent female is supposed to face this cruel world like a warrior. Do you know that the independence of a lone girl comes at stake almost every day when she is in a city surrounded by strangers? There are times when I am supposed to lay my trust on a stranger for the sake of work. Well, it is not a choice, it is a compulsion. And in return, I am either exploited financially or emotionally resulting in the infringement of my independence. If I involve myself in meagerly paid assignments, some so-called well-wishers come forward with their criticisms. I really do reconsider my sense of independence then. Even though I'm focused about my work, there are times when people throw tantrums and gossip about me losing my focus. It really does hurt my sense of independence. Shockingly, our society still judges a girl by her outfit and late night returns. And you know what? We consider ourselves as the most evolved beings of 21st century, isn't it? Wow! When a female is molested, misbehaved or stalked by a male thinking that she's alone and can't do much about it, my sense of independence does fall apart. I'm leaving it open-ended for you guys to decide whether we are actually independent and how independent we are.